Splash travels to Woo! Santa Teresa is freaking awesome. It's pretty cool, but there's some things that I wish I knew. So with that being said, with that being said, let's go. All right, everyone, tip number one. There's like no public transportation there. It's literally like tough. Like I remember my first time going there, I tried taking like the bus and I was coming from Tamarindo, so like north. And uh, I was like, you know what? No, I'm not gonna pay $50 for a shuttle. So I took the public bus, stopped me in some random town. And then from there I had a pretty much like taxi or like hitchhike. And literally it ended up being more expensive and I ended up getting there like way late at night. Take a shuttle. Tip number two, you wanna find a place to stay in Santa Teresa that's like literally somewhere around where you're gonna wanna be most of the time. And why I say that is because Santa Teresa is not like a normal town, it's just like one road. So you have like one road all the way down and then all the way to the other side. So basically it's just one road in front is the beach. So like if you want to go to the supermarket, you got to go walk all the way to the supermarket and then walk all the way back to where you are. Or if you want to go to some restaurant or whatever, you got to walk all the way over there. If you want to walk to some surf break, you're going to have to walk all the way and then all the way back. So depending on where you choose to stay, you kind of want to be centric to around of, you know, your whole experience. Because if not, you're going to do a lot of zigzagging because it's just one road. It sucks. God, this ice cream's amazing. Oh my god, Courtney, share. Don't be a bitch. Oh my god, tell me about it. So yeah, choose your location wisely and you kind of want to like, literally, the problem is to like, you could stay somewhere and have a whole experience and just like little things around there, but you'll never get to like the other side of town, which is like, just like, miles over i stayed in casa somos which i highly recommend it's a really cool vibe similar to here at the bonga house and um it's just pretty centric right in front you have la lora which is a good surf spot and over by the rock so in between there you have plenty of waves so it's you just walk straight across have the surf and the people there and the vibe is pretty cool they also have like a little like glassing area on top where they like make boards and stuff so overall it's a pretty good pretty good experience with them um, another one I also recommend is Selena's. It's also right in front and also it's it's a pretty good location But you're on the south side. So if you want anything north, just know you got to kind of like Walk north, but I, I stayed on the south side and again, it all depends on what you want out of it But um, overall had a great time great experience in Casa Somos and um, And yeah so you can have a very different experience depending on where you're staying. For example, like my girlfriend wanted to go to the bakery every day. So like we literally had a walk for miles so she can get her cookies and then come all the way back. So I recommend somewhere in the middle. All right, so for those of you who don't know what like Northwest and all that stuff is like me, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. Through this diagram, this little dot you see right here is Malpais. This right here is Playa Carmen, this right here is Playa Santa Teresa, and then all the way up here is Playa Hermosa. And then all this freaking road in between is super long, and so what I mean is if you want to stay over here, you're going to have to be on this area, over here, over there, and there's a bunch of cafes, you can't even go to all of them, there's like a thousand cafes over there. So depending on where you stay, you're going to like mingle around there, if not, you're going to be doing that zigzag thing that I'm talking about. So definitely, 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 you want to choose a location that's right for you. Very important. Tip number three. You really want to get yourself a bike or a quad or a motorcycle, either of those three, to get yourself around. Because if not, like I said before, you're going to do a lot of walking. Now, a motorcycle could, could save it for you and a quad. And literally, that's all you see there. Remember, I didn't say car because literally having a car there is a drag because literally you're gonna have to like 
find parking which there's no parking you're gonna have to parallel park everywhere because just one road and then like literally everyone's zigzagging on quads motorcycles that's all there is there quads and motorcycles so if you have one rent one and if not find a bike or something but having a car is a drag you literally like it's the road is is just not meant for like cars it's there's cars there but like you're at a disadvantage definitely having a motorcycle or quad is what you want to have if you're on a budget take the bicycle and if not you're just gonna have to walk a lot a lot of walking you'll remember me you'll remember this moment you're like shit should have got a motorcycle next tip you can surf any tide there the waves kind of like a little deeper so like it doesn't really affect it like here on guanacaste side lower tide gets more hollow more tubes kind of sucks in more which i actually liked a lot and then high tide is more of a far paddle but it's still there and and you'll have a great time so overall like the tide's not really a factor but i do say if it rains a lot the waves and whole kind of ocean gets a little like funky and you get that kind of like waves everywhere and it just kind of like gets messed up so you don't really gotta depend on the tides but you gotta like watch out for the rain if you get rained on it could ruin your like your whole stay there so you want to make sure that it's not raining too much or too many storms while you're out there because it will it will ruin the surf next tip there's plenty of waves in Santa Teresa, so you don't have to watch out or like fight for the peak because there's literally peaks everywhere. It's like this long, just full on beach. So you have, you could just paddle out and have your own peak for you and your friends. And then like, if someone comes over, like you could go to another peak or whatever, you just have like a bunch of peaks. So you can pretty much be the king of your own peak, you know? Like there's like La Lora, which is like the palms. You can walk over to the like more to the south side and there's just waves ramping up and then also to the other side. So overall, it's just like a pretty good, pretty good range of waves. So it's just not really like a quick battle or anything like that. Like, you know, always be respectful, you know, no snaking, no none of that. But um, for the most part, it's, it's a pretty good surfing experience down all the way more towards the north side. You find this big rock. Uh, right in front of the Salinas there and that's more of like where the beginners go and you'll see them as you walk out um, Just kind of getting pushed on the white water and stuff and out there So if you're surfing there, just know that there's a lot of beginners there So you want to walk a little more south and then you'll get away from that and if you are surfing there Just be aware that there's a lot of beginners out there. So you get a lot of beginner issues So these are all the surf breaks in the area. So depending on where you stay, these are where the spots you'll be hitting I recommend staying over by La Lora and the Palms. It's, it seems to be just consistent over there like year round. The other breaks work better throughout the year while this one's just pretty much like you're always gonna get something. In Santa Teresa, everyone's freaking young, all right? Like it literally goes from like 17 to like 26 if you're older than that you're like whoa like this guy's old so just so you know it's a young crowd over there like if you're like hitting 40 like you're gonna be like the oldest guy out there like i don't i don't know why but everyone's freaking young and the other thing is there's literally no like ticos no costa ricans literally it's all freaking argentinian and like israelis like straight up so like you're not gonna find a lot of costa ricans in santa teresa for some reason they're out there, but it's like, it's just a slight few. Like literally you go to like pizza places and like you get at hummus for 6.95 and like sababa night and sababa this, sababa that. And like, I'm Jewish. I like grew up in Miami and literally I think there's more in Santa Teresa. It's, it's, it's real. Like, disco, disco, good, good, every, disco, disco. And Argentinians, there's Argentinians everywhere. Like everywhere. Like literally you think they're like, oh, Costa Rican Spanish. No, it's like all hey, Argentina. Hey, Argentina and uh, Israel. It's like little Israel. Yep. If you didn't know that, it's true. Sababa for you. Young crowd, Sababa crowd, Argentinian crowd. Santa Teresa. You'll remember that. If you're going to Santa Teresa, just know that it's very expensive. Like from the start. Like literally, 
the, like the cheapest accommodations you can get there for a dorm is like $50 and like everything's pretty pricey so when you're going over there just know that it's not cheap you're gonna have to throw in some cash because like yeah it's not a cheap place next tip when you're not surfing there's a lot of tide pools out there that you can just like hang out in which is really fun you just like chill there just sink in there and just like marinate for a while so um it's a pretty cool experience if you've never been tide pooling i i suggest you go If you're like a yoga girl or you're into yoga, there's a big yoga scene in Santa Teresa, but it's like for real. It's not like none of those like Karens out there that like, you know, put on like little tight yoga pants. So like I do yoga, go to class. No, like this is the for real deal yoga. So if you're a Karen and you go out here, you're going to get schooled and you're going to want to go home and cry to your like little yoga class with like Brittany and all the Courtney's. Okay, check this out. Next tip, when you're not surfing and you want something to do in Santa Teresa, I recommend walking all the way south till you hit this big rock. I did that, it was a pretty cool adventure. There's like all this cool rock formation, nice tide pools, and just like an overall cool adventure to do right there. Just hike all the way down to that rock, it's pretty nice. Other than that, there's waterfalls, the Montezuma Falls, which are pretty cool, which a lot of people go to do. Overall, like at sunset, there's this place called Banana Beach that you guys have to check out. It's super chill and it's a great place to watch the sunset, have some drinks. So you got swings and everything and overall just a great experience and they've got live music. So really cool. You should check it out. So there's not really like a big night scene for like parties over there. There is in Kooks, I hear. It's a place, they got like a smokehouse and like at night they like throw parties and it's like a bar and stuff. So it's pretty cool. I actually never went, but I hear it's pretty good. Also like Somos does like live music at night too. So a lot of like live music more than parties, but there's this one club called La Lora I remember going to many years ago and I think it still works. And it's like a cool club with like this bird on it. And all these like, anyway, not a lot of nightlife, definitely more in Tamarindo but it is there is something all right you guys last tip so you know i'm like a filmmaker photographer so i went out there and i wanted to get that shot like in the barrel and get that full experience so there's this guy out there named ezekiel rivero all right and he can go out there and get that shot for you i tried and unfortunately i got like a chandelier covering my face but hey you can get lucky and you can get the shot so recommend get a photo session with him and have an overall great time thank you guys once again for listening and um be sure to subscribe now let's uh finish it off with some live music here at the banana beach so with that being said let's go Los dos mirando el mar Cuando la tarde moría Como moría lo nuestro Juro que no lo sabía Miré para mi derecha Vi que desaparecía Y noté que no me oías Me dejé de Toda la noche en la arena Recordé Lo que valía la pena
vida No puedo conseguir Cambiar ni corregir Lo que me corre en las venas Corazón No dejes de latir Cambiar mi 